Hey guys, this is Chris from KRC Creations. I'm just coming to show you, um, I haven't done a DIY in a very, very long time. Um, I was watching a video from Marisol. She was one of the people that I subscribed to. She calls herself a wax girl. But I was watching her and she had a lot of um, used candle jars. So she recycled them um, and used them in her home. So the empty one. So I did I do the same thing, but I do it for my soaping organization. So I thought I'd show you guys how I reuse bottles and um, things um, that come to me when I order. Now a lot of companies, and I'm really proud of companies for doing this, they're just trying to switch over. Um, a lot of companies back in the day used to send you your products in these white thick um, containers and they are great like these tubs now they're moving towards bags like ziploc bags because one it saves them more shipping it's easier to pack more things in a box and it's eco-friendly now this company i i order from uh, essential depot for my live they do that too but i don't order the largest larger quantities so that I will get a bag. I tend to order the smaller, a lot of them in the smaller quantities so that I get the bottles. I don't like to have lye in a bag all over the place. Maybe later um, when I reuse one of my 50 pound containers, um, of I get my oils in 50 pound containers. Maybe um, when I get ready and I have enough of those laying around, I'll order it like in larger quantities and put it in that container. But for now, I'm getting it like this. Now, I order my lye in 33 bottles at a time, so this is how they come. Now when I go through them, I I don't want to throw these bottles away. They're pretty good and they're easy to clean out and they're easy to reuse. So what I do is I upcycle my bottles. Not only do I upcycle my lye bottles, I also upcycle my coffee creamer. I am a huge coffee drinker. I drink tons of coffee a day. I don't drink soda. I I drink very little juice. It's mostly water and coffee. So I drink a lot of this. So I go through a bottle maybe once a week, which is a lot. And I have a lot of bottles. So I've been upcycling these for this organization. Let me pan back so you can see it. These are all of my powders that I use in uh, my business. Let me go a little closer. Like this one is baking soda. I order baking soda in huge quantities. I order everything in huge quantities. But I don't want to lug around huge quantities when I'm working. So I put them in these containers so that they're easy to use. Here's Dead Sea Saw. And I put labels on the top so I don't have to move everything. See, um, there's all crap. I'm sorry, <laughs> ground almonds back there, stearic acid, whole milk powder, olive wax, um, so everything, a whole bunch of stuff, kale and clay, coconut milk, um, ground oatmeal, uh, emulsifying wax, beeswax, all kinds of stuff. So this is a great way to store a lot of your powders because it has a pore spout. Some of them I read, I, um, remove the top to get it out but some of it pours right out to help you measure out now I don't have an empty one this one's half to empty empty but all I do when I upcycle is I just remove this plastic wrapping and clean the bottle you want to be sure to clean your bottle very well um, so that you don't leave any uh, remnants of what was in there as well as sorry that is I don't know what that is uh, hold on Sorry, I left, left my refrigerator open, open, so that was the alarm telling me that the refrigerator was open. But what I was saying was you want to make sure you clean your bottles very, very well. Um, I do. I clean it once, and I let it dry out, and then I clean it again, and I let it dry out. And then I put either some al alcohol or um, um, some uh, Clorox mixture in there to to. Um, uh, disinfect or really get it clean before I put anything other anything in it so you want to make sure you do that another thing that and this is what I haven't labeled but these are what the lye containers end up looking like I don't I didn't I just write on them but one of the things that I do upcycle too 
is um, my, I used to get Luann's, um, Luanna's coconut oil. And when I run out, sometimes I run out of my 50 pound containers before I can reorder. So I get the Luanna's and those ones are really, really good for um, product. Let me bring you over here and show you here. These are the Luana bottles, and what I do is when I make my products, I make them in very small quantities. I don't have, I don't like to leave my customer waiting for a long time, so I, I leave them in very small quantities and um, fill them into these bottles, just some of them. And um, these are great containers because you can get a spoon in there and scoop it out and get your product out and when I'm down low with these um, I tend to make some more because a lot of my jars and packaging they go cross line so if I make like 32 ounces of something I will wipe out my jar um, my packaging jars on one product so I just make the product put it in here when I get an order I package it and they're packaging so it is packaged at the point of order um, but uh, it is it sits in jars like these and they I go through these pretty quickly um, so they're not, they're not sitting around so you pretty much are getting stuff really fresh and really fast this way only thing with this is it comes from oil is in this you got to be careful when you reuse oil containers you really got to get those oils out of there I only use oil containers that have a wide mouth top because I need to get my hand in there really get it cleaned out really get all that oil out of there um, and with a, a tighter lid you can't do that so I only use that type of thing for oil and Dawn is really good if you don't mix up I make my own dishwashing soap um, and it really cuts oil like crazy. I mean, crazy. Uh, but Dawn does too if you don't make your own. Uh, but this is a way to upcycle. Now I'm going to show you uh, how I upcycle. And give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I have some containers here that they've been cleaned out. And uh, they, they need to get their labels removed so I can put new labels on them. And I don't know if you notice, when you remove labels, they have the sticky residue on the back. Now, when you're removing your labels, you want to be careful not to do this. Tear and have a whole bunch of paper um, on there. That's hard to get off. Very, very hard to get off. But if you can remove the label whole and you'll leave a sticky residue behind, that's easy to get off. Um, some people go out and get gooby gone, and that stuff really doesn't work. And it's, I don't think it works. And it's loaded with chemicals, and I'm not a chemical girl. I really like to stay away from all chemicals if, if possible. Um, so you could actually make your own gooby gone, and it is absolutely fantastic. Here is mine that I made. And this gooby gone is, I don't know, like, I don't know if I know like the cult and the name, but whatever. All you do is do equal parts of coconut oil, 76%, so the hard the, the hard coconut oil, as not fractionated, coconut oil and baking soda. So you want to, if you're going to make, this holds uh, four, I think eight ounces, so I made it in four ounce quantities. You don't really need a whole lot. So I put two ounces of coconut oil and two ounces of um, baking soda and just really stir it. So that it's incorporated and it looks like it looks like that ends up looking like that that's gonna get all that sticky residue off like magic you're gonna be like wow yeah you can use this for everything around your house and stuff like that I always have some of this I need to make some more but it's really really helpful for those types of things so you're gonna need that and you also gonna need some type of heating tool to heat your labels off of your your bottles I use my heat gun you can easily use like a blow dryer it'll take a little longer but you you can easily use a blow dryer with you when using heat guns be careful because they really get stuff hot and you don't want to bring it burn your fingertips so be careful when using that that's all and then you're also going to need some type of cleaning tool to get that sticky part off I use a cloth because these little fibers help to pick up the um, the residue of the oil and the sticky stuff. So there you go. 
So let's get started. As I said, I do have some Luana cans that I had um, went to the grocery store and bought. So uh, I'm going to upcycle this. And here is my lye container. And I'm going to upcycle this and I'll show you how I do it. Let's start with the Luanas. All I do is I use my glue gun. I mean my glue gun. My heat gun. And I just start heating it from the edges out. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you how I do that. I just do a section at a time. And when you do that, you see how easy this thing peels off. That easy. And it doesn't leave any paper behind. Now when you start to feel it getting a little bit tug, then you want to you know you ended your section that you heat it. So I go back, heat up another section. Actually, I'll go all the way to the end. Just pull it away. And it comes off whole like that. So that's one bottle. Let's just do the same thing for this one. This one's cool because the paper is going to turn a little darker so that you know it's time to peel. See that? <laughs> I think that's so cool. Okay. And then just take it from a corner. Be careful, this is hot. And just start peeling it back. And it comes off completely. Let's do the back side. Once your heat gun gets going, you don't really have to use it that long anymore because it's already heated up. And you just peel. There you have it. No paper left behind on your bottles. If you tend to get some paper left behind, just use your fingernail or whatever you have to scrape it off. And that's the key. You don't want to have any paper behind. So we got all this sticky sticky residue. I don't know if you can see it. But you have all this sticky residue and you don't want that. You got to clean that off. So, do this one. This is still a little hot. This one's a little warmer. You take your Gooby Gone and you just apply it to the area where the sticky residue is. You don't need to scrub it. You're just putting it on there because the oil is going to help to loosen up the um, glue and the cloth once it's you want it to put it on here and let it sit for like five ten minutes and that oil is helping to remove the glue and then the baking soda is a scrubbing agent so you're not really worried about scrubbing right now when you use your cloth it'll help to remove the stickiness the, so I did one earlier before I started the video and I have my cloth here. I'm wiping my hands off with it. I have my cloth here. I hope you can see that. And I'm just going to take my cloth. <coughs> see that? <laughs> it removed all that stickiness. One swipe. Sometimes you get a little stubborn area. Scrape it a little bit more. I think I have a little paper stuff there. See how fantastic that gooby gone is? Oh my god. That's it. That's all you do. 
keep going around. All that stickiness is gone. So what I do is I just clean up that outside, spray it with some alcohol, and put my product in. And it's all ready to go. And this one, let's put some on this one. And then we'll clean off. See how long that takes to be done. I'm going to hold it here for a long time, but... But if you upcycle these lye containers, they're a beast to get that. They use extra stickiness on their labels, I guess, because they're heat labels. But you just let this one sit a little bit longer, and it comes out just as easy as this one. Now, we just put that one on, and it's probably ready to take off. It could sit a little longer, but it's still coming off just really good. Just like that. So I'm going to let this sit a little longer. And I will be done. So that's how you uh, upcycle. Once they're done, I clean them off, slap a label on them, and they're ready to be filled. So I hope this helps you uh, upcycle some of your jars. I think with the way that the companies are going and big ups to you companies that are doing this, you're going to have to start saving some containers to put your products, um, transfer them from one bag to a container that you can easily use. So... I hope this is helpful. Thanks, Mirasol. Uh, I didn't even think to do this, um, but it really saves me time and when I'm creating as well as it keeps my soap and room really organized. So, thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.